Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dime Up. And I've changed the logo, all that stuff. I changed like the name and stuff like that. Um, so no confusion, nowhere. So today in the NBA, big news, big trade, trade talks, which was confirmed probably an hour ago. Um, Dennis Schroeder is being traded to the Lakers for Danny Green and the 28th pick in the first round of this season. It was really surprising, very surprising. I thought Dennis Schroeder was going to find a home in OKC, you know. But he's just one of those players, you know, who's going to be a good player for every team he's going to play for. You know, Dennis Schroeder has just come off one of the be his best season ever in his career, averaging 20 plus points off the bench, um, being the sixth man. He was my sixth man of the year winner, obviously, but he got robbed by Montrez Harrell. And um, that would be a good pickup for the Lakers. And let me tell you why. Um, they're in danger of losing Rajon. Um, Dennis Schroeder is a pretty good playmaker, okay? He has a pretty good um, basketball IQ. He can pass the ball pretty well, just like Rondo. Well, not like Rondo, but similar. Now, Rondo is in danger of leaving the Lakers because he didn't take his player option. He doesn't really need to get another ring if the if the Lakers can pull off a repeat. He doesn't really need a ring because he already has two and he's basically already solidified himself in the Hall of Fame in my opinion. So any team that pays him enough, he'll go to. I don't think it really matters to him who pays him the most or who pays him. Who pays him the most is who he's going to go to. Um, this will be a good pickup because of the scoring passing of Dennis Schroeder. Um, he could be a good uh, backup point guard if Rajon stays, and he could be a possibly six man of the year candidate again. So that's a good pickup for them. Now in OKC's case, eh, it's okay. I mean, they're not getting a lot back, really. They're just getting Danny Green, who has been clowned on for. <laughs> ever since the bubble started and I mean he's an okay player he's pretty good defensively his offensive game was taking a slight dip in the bubble which I see I guess why OKC fans are kind of iffy about why aren't they getting anything else because as as I've said before Dennis Schroeder has one of the best um, years or uh, seasons of his career so were they asking for coups? Could they have gotten coups as well? I don't think so because money wouldn't match. And the, the 28th pick. Yeah, the 28th pick. I mean, hmm. the 28th pick. You can splash with the 28th pick. Okay. Players who have gone late in the first round or started the second round have become pretty good, solid players. Okay really good solid players who have been picked later in the first round you know and um they could splash with that and forget about danny green and saying did we get a, a too little for dennis Schroeder?" but in this case maybe not y'all might not get a good player with the 28th pick and y'all might end up having to trade picks to get another good player but um I really don't know in OKC situation money money is a big another big uh, reason why I would think that OKC fans are going to be a little iffy about this because um, as we all know Chris Paul has that massive contract um, that m massive contract and I really don't see him I don't many people say he's gonna get traded now, what team are going to have to get that contract, right? What team is going to want that contract, you know? And them getting rid of Dennis Schroeder, who's making uh, like 15 mil, and then getting Danny Green, who's making about 15 mil. But see, Danny Green is on the last year of his, con of his contract. So does that mean that Danny Green's going to be traded mid-season? Again, mid-season again before the trade deadline, which is kind of petty, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. That's another that's a that's another video, but it's very possible that Danny Green might get traded again, you know, and that's one thing that I've noticed is that many players who are like traded for, they end up on a different team 
by the end of the season than the team that they were traded to at the beginning of the season or prior to the season before, you know? So that might be Danny Green's case, which it might be because he's making a lot of money. They want to be able to have a little bit of money because we all know OKC is a selling team and they're going to be blowing it up soon. You know, they're going to blow it up soon. I don't know. I don't know who they're going to trade. I guess they're going to keep young, young players. They're going to keep Shea, obviously, because Shea is a dog. They're going to keep um, other players. They're probably going to get rid of the older guys, you know, like Chris Paul, Danilo Gallinari. They could get rid of Steven Adams. How old is Steven Adams right now? I don't know. Let me see. How old is Steven Adams? That man's 27 years old. So, I, I, it's possible we might see him getting traded too to another team. So, in this case, I don't know if any side would benefit um, the Lakers. If things pan out, they might benefit from this. They're, they might. They No, not that they might. They will benefit off of this. Also, um, Dennis Schroeder, he even said he doesn't really want to play with the Lakers of L.A. You know, and many, many analysts have said that you're going to have to change the way you play if you're going to play with LeBron James. If you're going to play for LeBron, play with LeBron James, you're going to have to change how you play. And in Dennis Schroeder's case, coming off big, a big, big season of his big, big season from 20 points plus, what is he going to average now? 11, 15, 13? You know, because basically LeBron is the prime ball carrier for the for the Lakers, you know, and with LeBron and AD, Kentavious Caldwell Pope, who has proven and shown that he's a pretty good player defensively and offensively. Where is going? Where is Dan Schroeder going to be? Right. Is he going to be in the corner waiting for that open three ball? Is he is he going to be coming off the bench? which is very likely because he he thrives in the in the six man bench role. You know, he thrives in that position. You know, he thrives in that type of rotation where he comes off the bench. Could they have LeBron starting at point guard, you know? And then Dennis Schroeder start uh coming off behind LeBron James. It's very possible that they even go small ball. You know, they could go small ball, you know, like they did in OKC. Maybe that's one reason why they picked up Dennis Schroeder so they could experiment with a small ball lineup you know like the Rockets but it it succeeds with the Lakers because they actually have a center you know so it's um it's a very odd topic it can go on for hours in my opinion on how you can set speak about how Dennis Schroeder is going to do this or if Danny Green's going to prosper in the, with the Thunder you know is he going to be traded which is very likely it's very likely he will be traded okay it's very likely he will be traded mid-season next in the 2020 2021 season so um really it's just a matter of time you know like when this season starts you know who is going to be playing how well are you going to be playing because the 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 season starts up in a couple of weeks, you know, in December. So, um, and LeBron said he's probably not even going to play. So, is this going to see, are we going to see Dennis Schroeder um, going crazy in these first few, uh, in this first month of the NBA, of the new NBA season with alongside Anthony Davis, who's a big lob threat, you know, I don't know. So, any, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this whole situation um and let me tell you Dennis Schroeder is one of my favorite players okay every time I play 2k I always try to find a way to get him on my team either if I'm rebuilding a team player lock or in my career whatever I always try to find a way to get Dennis Schroeder on my team because I know he's a pretty I love Dennis Schroeder I love to see Dennis Schroeder so I would love I'd love to see him on the Lakers and it's confirmed so he's going to be on the Lakers and I hope he prospers. I hope he contributes well to the team. You know, I hope he contributes well and that he will be a key part in them winning or repeating into getting a championship. So anybody in um, 
comment below in the uh comment below on your thoughts about this and um i'll see y'all guys next time and i'm sorry for like the whole month away i've been thinking of doing videos like this i've been thinking of doing videos but i've always been busy schoolwork my bad um i know studies come first to me so i had to get my studies done so uh just want to thank y'all for the uh, love and support make sure to uh like comment and subscribe turn on the post notifications tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend my socials in the link in the description thank you peace out